Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I got a video out, so I just wanted, before Christmas, I wanted to share with you guys a couple things that I had going on. I wanted to show you what, um, a couple projects that we wrapped up, and then I wanted to show you how I decorated for Christmas and what we're gonna do today. So this year we decorated with three trees. This one I actually won from an online auction at one of our local antique stores. And she had it decorated almost exactly like this. All I had to do was take a picture of it and then bring it home and stuck it pretty much back together the way she had it. But I love, I've never fluffed a tree like this one. So we just did a, the same topper that she had. So we have some vintage glass ornaments on it, which is really pretty. Um, this one is one of my favorites, the longer, the longer one. And then we did some sprigs and some berries that she already had in there. And so far, oh, and the pears, look at that, guys. How cool is that? Apples and pears and berries. But anyway, this one, it turned out really, really good. I'm still didn't, I still have holes. I can see I'm really good now on camera, so. But this is one of our three trees this year. We would have had four, but we never did make it out because of the storms. We never did go into the woods and cut down one, so. Okay, so I love my fireplace. This is my big fireplace in the living room downstairs right off of the dining room. I've been waiting for my mantle to be installed. We have stockings out. I am not gonna wait any longer for the mantle to get hung. I can't do it myself because I'm terrified I'm gonna break the stone. It's just like, um, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like a solid stone. It's like a facade. I said that wrong again. I said facade, facade. It's a facade. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, anyway. There's some old nails and stuff up here that they had stuck in between the joints. I just, I'm terrified I'll mess it up, so I have to wait. But instead, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use command hooks. And these are the only ones that I could find in the store. I don't have time to order any, so I'm hoping that they'll hold the stockings. If not, they'll be laying down. Okay, so we're gonna do this real quick. this too. So these leather tags were like luggage tags and I got, I just clipped them. Like they come with these little clips and what is this called? Lanyards? Lanyard. <laughs> Having brain farts left and right this morning. Anyway, I just used index cards and I put their names on them. So it's going to look really cute. Anyway, I'm going to try this. We'll see how it goes. Ava's going to show you guys how we put our slip covers over the dining room chairs this year. Now, I have had this table and set for a little bit, but I don't really like the chairs. So slip covering them is the next best thing. And it works really well. It's super easy to do. And it looks really pretty when it's all put together. Okay, so next I'm going to tackle cleaning the kitchen, which is a complete disaster. Isn't that right, man? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna tackle these dishes real quick and then we'll start cleaning up and decorating the kitchen. Thank you. 
I also got this menu board, which is really cool. It was like six bucks, I think, on Amazon. And I love using it, but the markers take a while. So you'll see me kind of blowing on it. They take a while to show up on the board. So that's the only drawback. It might work just as well with regular Expo markers, which I might go ahead and use. But the markers that came with the set are magnetic as well. And I just stick those on the side of the fridge. Right, everyone. Happy spirits are light. I am sitting here thinking along with my drink as I do this time of the year. Do you remember when love was around? When we were alone? the talk of the town when I'm sitting here drinking I can't help but think about you about us as I do this time of the Remember me being with you Was that just a dream That never came true I am sitting here sinking Drink after drink As I do this time of the year Thought I was trying to forget you. I must have forgotten. I did do a Walmart pickup order. Um, we live outside of the delivery area, so this is what it looks like when we bring home a pickup order. I'm not going to clean the fridge, do like a big clean out like I normally do, because I really just picked up snacks and things for the kids to munch on kind of throughout Christmas break for those two weeks that they're off. Do you? Remember, we used to be near. You don't recall, you forgot as I feared. I don't blame you if memory fails you. But I must admit, I am thinking. All right, so here is the Walmart pickup order for Christmas break. I want, I wanted to do this earlier, and I don't remember why we didn't, but yeah, so we're running really late this year, and I'm really grateful to everybody who's hanging in there and working <laughs> these crazy holiday hours. So anyway, Nutella. For Nutella sandwiches, I had to get two bags of Doritos Cool Ranch because they were out of nacho cheese. I got a couple boxes of Hot Pockets some cheese danishes and pop tarts. These are just um, the Walmart brand, great value. So that way it's easy for breakfast. I got um, a big pack of yogurt. I got some Hawaiian sweet rolls for Christmas dinner. These things are awesome. If you guys haven't tried these yet, these Ritz's crisp and thins, they are amazing. Um, I wish they were in a bigger bag because they eat, go so quick. Pizza rolls and of course, Jesus. So this big box hopefully will last our big family at least a week. Um, I had to get some more Colby Jack shredded cheese. That's pretty much my go-to for everything from tacos to just anything. Um, I also got a smoked spiral ham and it comes with a brown sugar glaze pack. That'll be for Christmas dinner. Some more bagels, bread, some hamburger buns for Sloppy Joe's one night, Cheetos. I got one thing of sweet potatoes because we're just gonna do a small Christmas dinner, just the family in the house. 
cheddar little smokies. We do pigs in a blanket with these and they love them. I got some Alfredo sauce, some V8 splash. The kids love that. French bread for pasta nights, some granola bars, instant potatoes, which are just for um, green bean stuff, which we're gonna have tonight. And then fruit snacks for the little one, more cream cheese, spray butter. Um, I've been getting these logs of ground beef just because they're more affordable. I had to get some more bags, freezer bags for that and um, brownies. I got a big thing of chicken breast, which I'll split up here in a second. Also some sun chips and Vienna sausages for the little one and lettuce. And then I also got some drinks over there, which I'll show you guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is divide up our ground beef and our chicken breast. These are kind of staples in our home when it comes to easy meals, especially with the crock pot. I use the chicken breast in the crock pot a lot, but what I'll do is divide up the ground beef into one and two pound increments. I'll roll those out with the rolling pin so that they're flat. I'll zip up the bags and freeze them laying flat in our deep freezer and then I'll stand them up once they're completely frozen so that they make even more space and I really found that this method just works the best. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. To end today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I store our Christmas cards. So every year we use a new binder ring and we use a hole punch to make a hole and slide the Christmas cards onto the binder rings. It's really fun to pull these out and every year, I mean, I save every card that I get. So this is just a great way to display them and to look back on memories from past Christmases. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Holiday.